Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Stacy. if you're new here and today we as a campground are officially closed. It's October 16th. We are open April 15th to October 15th and it is bittersweet kind of. <laughs> it's very nice knowing that I'm not in demand of anything. This is our prep for the next season, season, but also a recovery season for us as well. We are constantly in a go, go, go state of mind during those six months that were open. I mean, honestly, it's about a month before and about two weeks after. So seven and a half months out of the year, it is a constant get stuff done before the season opens and then before a real freeze hits in for us. We had a lot of seasonals leave this year, unfortunately. We wish every one of them well. They are always welcome to come back and stay with us on a weekend or a week-long vacation. So right now I am in that time of where I am calling people and seeing what size of camper they have and really the most important part for me is who they are. Do they have kids? Do they have dogs? Are they people that would be okay with staying beside other people who like to stay up late at night. <laughs> are they going, are their personalities going to clash with the people who are around them? And I, uh, I take that part of my job very seriously because I never want to put people who aren't going to be a good fit with the people around them because it would, It'll just in the end give me problems and I don't want any more problems than the ones that pop up in the middle of the night for me. Anyway, that's where I'm at right now. I've got six, I think six sites right now that I need to fill. And as usual, they are ones that are straight across from the playground. I love putting people that have kids in those spots. I love seeing what I would envision if I were in their shoes. And what I mean by that is if I had kids and I had a 30 foot camper, I would want to be across from the park, regardless of if it is a full hookup spot or not. With the age that my kids are at, being across from the park would be premium for me. I want to be able to sit outside, drink my coffee, and watch my kids play. Whenever we would go camping, I would always choose a spot that is near a playground so that I know exactly where my kids will be because that is where they will be. No matter where we're at, if there's a playground, that's where they're at. I would like to be able to cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner and watch them play with the other kids. That is just something that I'm actually gonna go this way. Let's go this way. That's just something that I would enjoy. It is a little bit harder to fill those sites because there is a length restriction. I can only fit maybe a max 33 foot in there. That is it. That is the total exterior length from the hitch to the bumper. Then they are only 30 amp, which usually isn't a problem if it's only a 33 foot anyway, it is only water. So water and electric hookup. And uh, a lot of people, especially with kids, are looking for full hookup. But honestly, people who have had kids that are across from that are like, you know what? It just took us a little bit to kind of get in the rhythm of not washing our hands a super long time or just blatantly leaving the water running or just just stuff like that. Brent and our other mowing crew guy, Bill, one of our seasonals, will be doing lots of leaf pickup this next month. Um, we do pick up all of our 
leaves because we don't want them to pool in one spot and then just kill that grass for the spring. So that's what they will be doing. And as for some big projects, we might be doing a well, a new well or a new pump, whichever one, I can't remember what Brent said. It's got something to do with one of our wells. And uh, hopefully, this is the plan, is that if you kind of know our park layout, we've got our cabins over here. These are all of the water electric sites that we have. And then back this way, back in there, we have, well, we, Brent, Brent has been clearing out this um, waterfront area right here because I want to say last year, the end of 2023, we got approved to put in seven new seasonal sites. They would only be water electric, but 50 amp. And then we got approved to put three cabins back here. Now, unfortunately, these would not be as nice as these, only because those have a half bath in them. So the ones that would be going over here would just be water electric, or not even water. There would be a spigot on the outside of it for like getting water to boil for your potatoes or whatever a quick washing of the hands but they would have heat and uh, ac in them so it would be more of a primitive cabin ish only with some uh, heat and cooling in them we would most likely be putting mini splits in which we did this year with our cabins and it has been phenomenal so that might be what we're doing or we might be just clearing more of this out to get that in the process of doing it it just depends on honestly financing or finances for that matter but he did an excellent job of clearing all this out it looks so good we've gotten tons of compliments of how nice this looks and really this grass that has grown in looks so good i mean People have been coming back this way fishing off of this bank and it's super nice. I'm excited to see what we've got in plans for this area next year. My idea is that we would have, what I would like to get is another four person, another six person, and then if possible, an eight person cabin back that way. I've... I, was, I just know a lot of people like to do like girls weekend trips and everybody get in one cabin and I know it would be a fun thing to have and just being able to offer bigger cabins for bigger families is nice. That is kind of what we have in store for next year along with widening roads. So if you watched the video of us um, widening our roads this spring, Brent has in the plans to finish this road out. He was thinking, hoping to get the out road finished this year. Obviously did not happen. I believe that is in his plan for doing this year. Also, we have been talking about getting new windows for the store. If you were in the store this summer <laughs> on one of those days when it was like 90 degrees outside, the store was about the same because the efficiency of the windows is atrocious there. And then when we were making pizzas and using the air fryers, all that extra heat in there, my girls were sweating. Girls, if you watch this, I am so sorry. I, <laughs> I, I'm not even sure an apology is good enough, but you guys made it through. We're thinking that some new windows will definitely help. There was a major B problem, especially the end of this year. 
we had some yellow jackets make a little nest inside between the store wall and the siding of the store down by the pop can or down by the pop machine. They somehow got in between the window grooves and then got in to the siding. And the last two weeks, the store was open. Bees were just flying around in the kitchen area. It was not good. My girls were saying that they weren't even going to go walk back there, and I don't blame them. But Brent did um, spray them finally, and uh, that is something we need to figure out before next year so that something else doesn't move into that area. This year in general was like I've said before for myself, just another year of growing and bettering myself as a business owner. It was a working of my patience with people because honestly, if you work in the customer service industry, there are just sometimes when you yourself aren't in the right headspace that day and then somebody comes up with these very silly words and then it's like you kind of just lose you just lose your mind a little bit and I've had those moments um there's moments where it's the busy season and then I'm just annoyed because it seems like everything is every all my marbles are falling out of my bag I put too many eggs in one basket and we uh, it's just they're all breaking in front of me and it can be a lot but I know that every year we do this is just another year under my belt it's another year that God is putting me through the fire and purifying me and making me grow stretching areas that I don't want stretched being able to meet new people and hearing that they have had this awesome time here with their family even if it's for just the weekend I love having people come here, experience it, and then they sign up to be on the seasonal wait list because they're like, we've never been to another campground that feels the way yours does. And I know there's other campgrounds out there like us, but just knowing that they can find rest and restoration, which is kind of what our slogan is. It is where friends and family can find refuge and restoration in the great outdoors. I love starting the campground up on April 15th, but I also love ending it on October 15th. I thrive off of the chaos and I thrive off of the silence as well. <laughs> there's, there's definite seasons within our working seasons. We are very blessed as a family to be able to do what we do. And we would not be here today if it wasn't for God giving me a vision one day standing in a kitchen of our old house. <laughs> so to wrap this whole video up, don't think that just because the camping season is officially over that I won't be posting content on what we're doing in this fall season, during this winter, and into the spring of the startup of the 2025 season. You will still get that. The number one thing though for me to end this video is I want to say thank you 
to all of you that watch these videos, that comment, that <laughs> the seasonals that I have that watch these videos. You guys can go up and get the keys. They are actually cleaning up the store right now. They will be cleaning out the ice cream machines, the freezers, the rest of the stuff that we couldn't get done. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you continue to watch our videos through this off season that we have and enjoy them. Share them with your other camping friends to let them know that you love Hoffman Lake Campground. I hope you come back for the next videos and I can't wait to see everybody in the spring. Actually, I can, I'm not gonna lie. I can wait to see you because I need my time now. <laughs> I need my, I'm not going to do as much time. This is my time to catch up in my house. <laughs> Cause as I told Brent, you better not be expecting a bunch from me in the house because it's just not gonna happen. The summer is this time and now the fall is that time, some, somewhere up there. So yeah, until next time, I hope you have a great rest of your day or night whenever you are watching this. Be blessed and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.